Okay, you can see us literally walking out here. This is officially the hottest RV right now in the RV industry. Uh, sorry for the view there. Uh, absolutely amazing. What's going to shock you about this thing are the windows everywhere. We're going to kind of stay on this end of it because this is one we just added. So we're outside. We, we want to make sure you can see the um, signal. Crazy floor plan, but look at these, uh, just the windows are everywhere. And again, it's called a 44 view for that reason. But the, the uh, awnings are motorized. All the awnings are motorized in this thing. So you don't ever have to touch them. You don't put them down, you don't put them up. All you do is hit a button. And Dalton showing you right there, absolutely amazing unit. If you can see this center island, this is one of the things people are going nuts about with this thing. The big L-shaped uh, sofa. And look at this cooktop and oven. This thing is uh, uh, like professional oven and cooktop. I you mean, cook it's a insane. whole turkey in there. It's absolutely incredible how this thing comes. You can cook anything in that oven you want. Again, you've got the gas cooktop. Uh, just don't tell Mr. Biden. <laughs> We've got microwave right here that's huge, very residential microwave. Check out the ceiling in this thing. It has a cottage ceiling. Uh, you'll absolutely love the cottage ceiling. Um, up front, I'm going to let Dalton show you the, the front bedroom, front loft, and rear loft. It's, it's just so, insane. Um, as some of you may know, this is a... Um a little bit different than the 42 view, which is another very popular model. Um, they replaced this cabinetry here with a whole half bath. Um, see if we got lights, we do. So you got a whole half bath here, sink, toilet, a uh, little bit of different setup, and of course your stink fan. Um, so that way you can go in there and do what you gotta do. So you're not, if you're in the main bedroom there, you're not walking all the way to the back of the camper. Um, but of course, here in the 40... Hey, what's a whole half bath? It's a whole half bath, Bob. <laughs> it's a whole setup. You don't have to go in there and set anything up yourself. <laughs> but of course, in your front loft here, uh, nothing changed. You do have two whole bed, uh, two whole teddy bear mattresses, as Mitch had mentioned in a couple of campers earlier today. Um, I'm six two, so I'm a, I'm a little bit big for these. But two teddy bear mattresses, lots of space, lots of storage if you want to use it that way. But you do have a front loft here uh, with that metal spiral staircase giving you that nice cottage feel. But awesome little space here. Easy to use, easy to get to. Beautiful in this 44 view. Carrie wants to know if you can walk through the unit with the slide out in. Carrie, you can. It's tight, but yes, you can get through it. Yep. And of course, uh, lots of storage underneath the staircase. They give you these nice little woven baskets. So that way you can uh, store everything you got to do. Being the uh, Grand Lodge and it being one of their newer units, you do have the VersaTilt bed. So this bed will rotate up and rotate down. Lots of storage over there behind me with the uh, wardrobe. And of course, directly to, the, to my left is of course even more storage. Nice little fireplace in the master suite. And of course, directly underneath the bed. This, this has a on-demand water heater with it too. What's yep. that mean for you? Really, uh, you can't run out of hot water. Uh, and if you've ever camped, the whole key is you turn on the water, get yourself wet, turn the water off, mm -hmm. and then you lather up, and then you turn the water <laughs> on, rinse yourself off. I know this well because I have grew up camping and we still camp, uh, and it was really a challenge with teenagers. The cool thing about this one is you can just shower because the on-demand is going to keep coming. Yeah, and one thing they did, uh, some campers don't do this, they kept the solid surface countertops going all the way throughout the camp. better show that drawer again because that's Which, crazy how deep that thing is. Check that out. All the way down. That's going to hold a whole lot of socks. Mm -hmm. You also have five benches or five stools up here yep. around the island, which is unheard of. Again, the big L shape. Does this make into a bed, doll? It does. So you can keep it in the L shape configuration here, or this specific part of the couch turns into a bed. So if you want to make a nice movie night, move this little, just like so. Oh, that's cool. So on movie night, when you go to watch Titanic there. And here's the TV. The TV is rising. 
up for you to see it. So again, if you're not, if you don't want the TV, you've got tons of countertop space, right? Be a great place to uh, cool some pies in front of the window. But when you're ready to watch TV, there you go. Um, Tom wants to know: Are there is there an air conditioning duct in the front bedroom? There is. Yes. There is, and there's also air conditioning ducts and heat ducts, of course back here in the bathroom that we'll get to. Wait till you see the shower in this bathroom. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to trade spaces here with Austin. Yes, Tom, there is an air conditioning duct in the master bedroom and heat ducts as well. Uh, rear loft as well, but go ahead and tell them about that uh, shower and stuff back there, Dalton. That thing's amazing. So, of course, being a Grand Lodge uh, and being one of their higher end units in here, you have a full glass shower with enough headspace for anybody that's even Mitchell size at 6'5". Is that how tall he said he was? Yeah, 6'5". And there's two air conditioning and heating ducts in the bedroom to be exact. Yep. Um, glass shower door and of course as Austin's showing you there, you have your washer dryer in the back of the camper so away from you in the master bedroom there so you're not hearing those run overnight if you do run them at night. Yeah, and you've got a door right here that shuts and this door is kind of cool. You can see how it, how it works. Yep. Pretty darn neat. It, it, it maximizes your space at all time, this thing does. It's just incredible. And again, solid surface countertops all the way through the camper. You got this new fancy uh, faucet in here, which I don't think I've ever seen anywhere else before. Uh, nice deep cabinetry all the way through. Awesome big mirror. So that way you can make yourself look pretty for your wife when you go on date night. Okay, Eric just asked, we have a, a Jayco Pinnacle 2024. We do not, there's a reason. Uh, okay, Eric just asked, do we have a 2024 Jayco Pinnacle? We mm -hmm. do not, and let me explain. We stopped selling Jayco when Jayco was purchased by Thor, okay? And the reason is every time a company gets purchased, for the next five to ten years, there's going to be a lot of cuts. There's going to be some cuts to warranty. There's always cuts to materials use, things like that, because the person that buys it wants to get their money back quick, right? Um not saying Jayco's a bad line, guys. It's a great line with a with a wonderful history, but that's when we stopped um, doing business with Jayco. Uh, would we go back one day? Yeah, we will. We're watching. You know, like one one thing that happened the very next year was the second door to enter the unit from the outside was so small you had to turn sideways to get through the thing. You could not walk through it like this. I'm not a big guy. You could not walk through it like this. You had to turn sideways. Those are the cuts we're talking about. Um, you know. Again, we love we love Jayco. They're a great line, but that's why we don't sell Jayco as of right now. Okay, we got about a minute and a half. Anything we missed on this? There's only one. So, because it is a, a an off brand of the 42 view, they made a little bit of a difference up here in the second loft. Um, in the 42 view, it's two beds. In the 44 view, it's only one. So you get a queen size bed up here instead of the two twin beds like in the 42 view. And in the 42 view, you had uh, a separation here. Like I said, in this one, it's a queen size bed with a nice little wardrobe right here behind me with a nice little socket underwear drawer or anything you want to take with you. But that's a, one of the big differences here. Queen size bed in this loft instead of the two twin Austin, beds. Austin, while you're up there, sweep this ceiling one more time for them. <laughs> Guys, look at the beam. I mean, it's crazy. It's got a cottage ceiling in it, tons of air conditioning, heating vents, uh, minimum two air conditioners on this thing. Yep. Floor's beautiful. Furniture's beautiful. Solid surface throughout, which is unheard of. Just absolutely amazing unit.